What's up everybody, my name is Hong Nguyen and welcome to Golden Nugget Book Review. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing and of course liking this video if you like it. Now here at Golden uh, Nugget Book Review, what I do is that I extract one golden nugget from a book that I'm reading, nonfiction, and I share it with you guys in under five minutes. So today's book is Living on Purpose by Dan Millman. Now for I'm just going to read the description here of the offer. He's a former world champion athlete, university coach, college professor, martial arts teacher, and of course, best-selling author. He wrote The Peaceful Warrior, a very, that was the first book I read from him, and it was, um, it was very interesting, very enlightening. Anyway, so I saw this book, I bought it, I bought this a while ago, and there's one nugget in here that I want to share with you guys uh, today. I read this book years ago, and I just pulled it back out, and... This is what I remember from this book and it stuck with me. So I think that it might stick with you guys too if it applies, right? So because he's a martial artist, he said something to the effects of don't dedicate your life to the art, but dedicate the art to your life. So that had tremendous impact on me because sometimes, you know, we, I find that we have a certain thing that we're doing, a certain discipline, a maybe a martial art or a sport or, um, you know, something that we do on a side. It's not our main thing uh, in terms of work, but it has tremendous value. And sometimes we feel as though I find that we don't give it um, the, the attention it deserves, you know, because we would like to dedicate our lives or we might have dedicated our lives to a certain sport, martial art, activity, hobby, but the truth is, like anything, I think it's a better idea to do what Dan Millman suggests, and that's to take the art and let that inspire your life, right? Instead of you giving your life to a so-called, you know, uh, art form, And I, I don't want to go into anything too, uh, anything political or religious, but if we just take the example of martial arts, right? If you dedicate your life to, to how do you say, to, to let's say, uh, Kung Fu, right? But, you know, it might not be the best idea, in my opinion, because Kung Fu is not going to love you back. It's actually a tool, a, a system that, can, that is supposed, you're supposed to take and apply to your life. So that's where I think that taking the art and um, applying it to your life, right? So not dedicating your art to, to dedicate that, sorry, dedicating your life to the art, but taking the art and dedicating it to your life. So you're taking the tool, the system, and you're applying it and you're infusing it into your life so that it makes your life better, right? Because why should we as human beings dedicate our lives to something that's in, inanimate, like an object or just a thing or a concept or an idea? Like it's kind of silly. Like forget that. Take that. Take the best of that thing, whatever it may be in your life, whether it be, um, you know, martial arts, a sport, a philosophy, and so on, and apply that to your life, right? So... That's my opinion on it, guys. I think uh, that's the golden nugget that, uh, that I got from this book. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Share the video. Click on the notification button. I try to make these videos almost daily. Uh, if not daily, then multiple times a week. So tune in um, every so often or just click on the notification button. So anyways, thank you very much for listening, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We're at 4 minutes and 20 seconds and done.